guys the gallery wall is finished well not really as you can see there still are quite a few gaps and i'm not entirely sure where i want to start it from because there's no like division we've got the coat rail coat rack here which i do want to get a new one i want to play around with it maybe diy it. i don't know yet but because autumn is coming coats will be there so i feel like it will fill the space a little bit so i'm not bothered about that but i'm just so happy with how it has turned out you can see there's so many different types of frames a lot of them are the same but for example this one please ignore the paint i scratched it a couple of times this one is the one that i've thrifted um in the charity shop but a lot of them are just from the range um i just thought for some con for some cohesion um to get some of the same frames so that's what that looks like and then it stops here which again i'm not sure if i want to bring it under i'm not sure if i want to bring it up and bring it higher that is what it is looking like from the top of the stairs i just love it i think it fills the space i think it makes the space look a lot more like homey i'm not entirely sure where i want the mirror whether i want it right opposite here or if i want it on the wall that is behind me but yeah i'm just so happy with how it's turned out um i think i will just fill in the gaps in due time and add some more pictures they are stuck up from just command strips because I did try to nail them yesterday but it was not happening because this is an exterior wall um, and it's brick it was really hard to drill into and it was really loud so I just thought let's just get some command strips does the job so that's what it is looking like now we are heading on to project kitchen slash bathroom finishing the painting and just getting the house looking a little bit more refreshed because Amara goes back to school soon just to bring the room together a lot more because I feel like it has the potential to look so nice. Please bear in mind, this is not the final artwork that I plan on using slash I feel like black frame is just way too dark and way too harsh for the space. I feel like it needs either a brown wooden frame or even just a nice big canvas. But I just want something up here temporarily just so it looks nice. Also, excuse the bright pink hoodie. I know I look a bit crazy, but yeah. I was just thinking, putting this here in the middle, in between the lights, just to finalize the space a little bit more. Um, hang this up temporarily just so the room looks more finished. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. This is what I'm thinking of putting up temporarily, just so it fills the space a little bit. Um, and then you can see I've got our brown bedding, which is freshly washed. I love this bedding. It's from Denelm. I'll link it down below as well. And the colour is like the exact same as the wall, which just, it's so Mediterranean. I think I said this in a vlog before, um, but I'm obsessed. So I'm thinking of hanging this up. I'll take a picture and see what it looks like, because I can't really see it from this angle. But if I hang it up, you guys will see and i'll let you guys know what i end up doing hey guys how are we um i'm feeling very tired today like i just you can probably tell i just feel like you know when you reduce if you're an editor when you slow down the video like t all the way that's what i feel like today um thank you so much for the love on my last video i feel like i said in that video i feel such a sense of like relief telling you guys what's been going on and just being more open open and honest and vulnerable with you all and just like letting you know what's going on and how I've been feeling and it opened up an, a, an amazing conversation that I didn't expect where so many of you were messaging me telling me you're literally going through the same thing you've got the same symptoms of me and now you're going to get checked out which I'm so happy about and I'm really happy that this has like brought more awareness to parts because i feel like lots of people know of parts but they don't know how dangerous it can be if it's gone undiagnosed which was the case for me um but yeah we are <laughs> we are i was gonna say we're getting better but not really it's more like i me and my medication is not getting along basically 
um and it's not really doing what it needs to do i it's kind of just like reverted back basically so i'm kind of feeling it kind of i'm feeling it <laughs> um i went to the gp today just to talk to them about my medication and maybe taking something new or getting a higher dosage i don't know but it's definitely needed and i went to holland holland and barrett i went to holland and barrett today i just need to slow down because i've been like speaking at a million miles per hour and i don't need to i went to holland and barrett today um to get myself some much needed vitamins i don't know why i do know why i don't like to face my problems head on <laughs> let me know if it's the same because i don't face my problems head on when i have something that i know i should do an appointment I know I should book, someone I know I should talk to, vitamins I know I should get that will benefit me or that will help me progress into X, Y, and Z in the future. I put it off in the back burner. I'm like, I'll do that later, I'll do that later. And later never comes. So today we were in Holland the Barrett. I just walked into it. I didn't, I didn't even think, I just walked into it, got what I needed to get checked out and we came back home. Um, I got myself some Floridix, Floridix, some liquid iron, I know you guys know I used to take it when I was younger um because I've had low iron my whole life of course um so I got myself some of that I got myself some electrolytes which sounds so funky and so fancy um but basically because you guys know if you if you're new hi I'm just Yara I have non-epileptic attack disorder and I have pot syndrome plus chronic fatigue syndrome chronic fatigue syndrome my goodness i can't talk um chronic fatigue syndrome as well as having two kids um and working for myself so yeah my energy levels have just not been there like at all um and oh my god i'll be so honest like i oh there's so much going on sometimes i come on the internet i'm like how much do i share today <laughs> like let's play that game um but i'll be honest because it's something that i am going to talk about more when I get to a certain point. Um, I have been really struggling with my weight and with eating. Um, trigger warning, if this is a topic that is sensitive to someone, please skip past. Um, I'll leave a timestamp <laughs> down below or on the screen. But I have struggled with my weight since having kids. I have a three year old and I just gave birth in January. And I know you guys are gonna be like, Jess, you just had a baby, like give yourself some time. I know I'm not forcing myself to get in the gym or anything like that at all it's more like with my condition with my seizures with my energy um my <laughs> sugar levels have been really high like my sugar intake has been more than I thought um and I've always had a sweet tooth but because I have no energy half the time and I have like a crash midday because I have like little iron I don't have any energy at all um i just feel the need to snack i feel the need to have like sweet stuff like all, not all the time i'll be not all the time um but basically i'm like really bad with eating i don't eat when i'm hungry and if i do eat it's something really small because i get full so fast um when i was in uni if you used to watch me when i was in uni i could eat and eat, i could eat so much food and i went to the gym and i used to do protein shakes and all that and like I didn't gain any weight. I burned the weight off so fast. I was so slim, so skinny in uni. I've been slim my whole life, minus like school. But yeah, ever since having kids, my metabolism has been so slow. And now I just hold on to weight, which I've gotten a couple comments about that. I'm so lucky I'm confident in who I am and my body and my skin. Um, because if I wasn't, that just would have made me shut down. But yeah, I've been struggling with my eating. I've been struggling with my weight um and i'm not going to talk about it too much because i'm still undecided <laughs> i'm still undecided and i don't really want the unnecessary feedback <laughs> but i'm just considering my options so yeah um i just wanted to like add that in to the list of health issues that i have but i'm only telling you this because i when i do like start to figure out a routine and a lifestyle and everything like that i will document it and i will let you guys know which is why i'm letting you know now um just so you can follow along the journey if you want to anyway besides that i've been okay besides that amara starts school soon she literally starts school in like two weeks 
something crazy like that we've got her uniform she's got her next like, school bag and it's crazy like I have I'm excited for her to go back to school because she has not gone to nursery or anything like that since we moved. So it's been months since she's like interacted with kids her age beyond like going to like some play groups sometimes. But I'm excited for her. I'm excited to have the house be a little bit more quiet even though I have a nearly eight month old who's just as crazy. Um, but yeah, that's that's what's been going on besides health and kids life's been good i've been okay <laughs> like that was a lot i'm so sorry just jumped into the video but um it's two o'clock on a thursday um like i said we just ran some errands this morning i am actually going to take all the stuff that i just got um and just get myself in the habit of taking my vitamins because i'm really bad with taking vitamins like i just don't take them i get a notification on my phone i'm like i'll take it and then life happens and I don't take it and next you know it's 11 o'clock at night I'm like oh I don't take anything the only thing I do take religiously is my medication for my heart my beta blockers ridiculous yeah I need to get better with that I need to get better with that so I'm gonna go downstairs and do that now um I want to hang this up I want to hang this up but I don't know if it's too small like I've just been looking at it and I don't know if it's too small for the space. I don't know, I don't know. Um, I think I'm just gonna go on Etsy because there are a couple of um, artists work that I saw that I really like. Um, so I'm gonna have a look. I think I'm just gonna take a picture of the wall and do some like, not AI, but like do a collage or something to see my options and just to play around. I might even ask you guys on my Instagram um, what you think I should get. Cause I don't know, I don't know at this point. I feel like I'm so, overstimulated <laughs> by the amount of things that I have to do slash think of doing um beyond just like decorating the house work-wise kids-wise whatever and then the last you saw I was painting the bathroom which the bathroom is like 90% finished um Corey is just going around the ceiling because I can't reach that I tried to do it on the ladder I nearly fell I was like I'm not gonna do this to myself so he's gonna finish that for me and then I need to edit some bits and then get on with whatever DIYs and house bits thank you for listening to me ramble and thanks for coming to my TED talk <laughs> way too long like this has been such a hard two three four it's been a long month i think august the whole of august has been so long and difficult i don't know why i'm talking so slowly let's move start shall we i got buy up done you guys i have buy up on my hands can we see let's move out the way oh no maybe i should stay there you can probably hear amara she's listening to music um i got biab weird um i literally was in the nail shop like two days ago and i was in need of doing my nails because they were just looking rough and the girl next to me she was doing biab and it looks so good like her nails were so like long and healthy it's a win-win and i'm interested to see how strong my nails get because my nail health has my nail health has been so bad um so i'm looking forward to it good morning my loves <laughs> wow good morning um 
it's been a while like honestly it's been a while i don't think i've like i don't know i've been filming i've been filming this vlog for quite a while um but i don't think i've spoken to you like sat down chatty with you i just felt like i needed to change um i was still in my pajamas and i'm just gonna do some quick makeup but hi how are you doing it's been if i'm being honest and just being candid if you do allow me the main reason why i've been off socials well not even socials but i've been off i had like a week where i wasn't really on the other platforms just like not even scrolling like i i just didn't have that up to my phone which i've never well i haven't done in a long time i've had like a social media detox but not in a long time probably since uni college um because i've always learned to control my usage online like i never found myself like over scrolling or just feeling like i needed to keep up with people um but this time it got to a point where i was like constantly comparing my life not really my life more like my home and the fact that my house isn't looking the way that i want it to and then comparing other content creators to my content and like questioning my content questioning if my content's even good enough um but yeah i've been having quite a bad mental health few months i was gonna say month it's not been a month i've been having quite a bad mental health few few months and it's just consisted of me just not feeling like myself at all um not really enjoying the things that i used to enjoy and not wanting to go out the house not wanting to see people like i've had to cancel so many work things because of how i'm feeling and i know that's fine i'm not on here to promote forcing yourself to do things that you just don't want to do but if you've been here for a long time you know that i'm just the type of person that's like if i feel a type of way if i'm feeling sad or if i'm having quite a bad mental health day week month i will sit in my emotions i will allow myself to feel those emotions but i won't feel it for too long because like i need to keep things moving like we need to work we have kids like we can't sink in this for too long before it gets too bad and i did i sat in my emotions for a bit too long and only because it was really bad like i haven't had or experienced sadness like this in a while where i just i don't know everything i did i didn't enjoy it I woke up every morning just feeling like meh <laughs> like I still went on about life I was still a mother obviously I have to Corey was really really supportive in just letting me heal <laughs> I guess and just still seeing family and still going on walks and trying to like get back out there but I just wasn't feeling it until I started to do some journaling inner work and I started to find out the the reasons why I was feeling these things was because I felt uncertain about the future I've never been the type of person to like worry about the future um or to be like what's gonna happen in a few years time if I don't do x y and z but I found myself worrying about the future and worrying about where I was gonna be what I was gonna do who I was gonna be friends with what my life was gonna look like is my kids gonna be okay like I'm not that type of person. So the fact that I was worrying, I needed to do some work. But now after a good couple of weeks of just healing and journaling and speaking with people, trying to start therapy, um, speaking with my GP, like speaking to family and friends and everything, I'm finally so aware of why I felt like that, how I can help myself and how to not get back in that mood again. But yeah, now that I'm feeling like back to myself, I feel like I have like this new understanding for life as weird as that may sound um i feel like i do and i've just been taking life so much more less stressful less like it's like everything i do matters <laughs> like i just notice i was stressing myself out over things i didn't need to being on the internet being a person who creates content and stuff i just didn't want to get wrapped up in the whole social media thing and i think 
before I just made it like my be all and end all like if I don't do this then what am I gonna do and if you are new I started a new business um, I have an interior design business I've been doing stuff behind the scenes for it but I just haven't had the same push to do things and to produce videos and to talk to clients and to meet new clients and to do work and it's all just been so consuming and then having kids and dealing with kids and my health which was just a whole other thing it was all just a lot so I just learned like I need to be kinder to myself this is the only body I have I need to look after her so I started juicing <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen that video but yeah I started juicing I've started doing yoga um I'm thinking about getting a walking pad slash treadmill no walking pad not a treadmill because treadmill's massive and I don't know where that's gonna go um but I'm really considering it because I go on walks I try and get my steps in every single day now and I can't get 10,000 steps in like I want to do 10,000 steps like everyone else but I can't my health just does not allow me to do that many steps in the same like in one long duration I just can't do it um well I could do it but I'd probably pass out have a heart attack or something like not even joking I just don't want to do that to my body so we've been going on walks every single day around the area and Amara starts school tomorrow like I said anyway please ignore the bin men in the background um I'm actually off to the range this morning we're in September like it's September the, the 5th today September the 5th September the 5th 5th bloody hell it's the 5th of September and you guys know me I love autumn September and October are my favorite months of the year like honestly I don't think I've ever admitted that to myself but it really is. I love September. I love the transitional months. I love the coziness. I love the change in seasons. I love the change in decor. Like summer, I'm not a summer babe. I'm sorry. I've never claimed to be. I'm not a summer babe. Just not a bit of me. Um, but I love autumn. I love winter. Um, mostly because I can dress. Like I can actually wear clothes and I can actually like try and make my outfits look cute. Summer, you don't wear anything. Well, you do, but like barely belly there anyway comment down below you a summer or autumn winter girl like me i would love to know to help bring myself out of this rut i guess i'm just trying to make the house look nice again um i did i vlog the bathroom we painted the bathroom i have gone back and painted the windowsill blue which i don't like um so we're gonna have to repaint that white another day and then i done the gallery wall which you guys saw but also a little malfunction with that where a couple frames fell off so i'm actually going to go back to the range um and get some command strips because we didn't nail them in we could but it's just gonna be very long because there's quite a few frames um so i done the gallery wall we painted the bathroom finally and i got a new mirror for the hallway which i don't know if i've showed you if i haven't showed you i'll show you now um the hallway is a bit messy so you're gonna have to ignore that what else have we done nothing else in the house really TV's been mounted, you guys saw that, but now we're working on just moving stuff around the house, making the house look a bit neater because it's just all over the place. And like I said, I just kept comparing myself to like people I follow online who either have just moved into houses and it all of a sudden looks like amazing and their decor's so nice and their furniture's so nice and I just kept comparing my house to theirs. And I've stopped doing that. I'm just like, Jess, like everyone's home is different. Like I do not have the finances to be furnishing this whole house in two weeks like it's just not it's not realistic so i needed to be realistic with myself and just like take your time like the house is done for the most part it's just the matter of making it look nice and finalizing decor and stuff but you guys know me when it comes to autumn i come alive and i'm going to be coming to youtube a lot more with my videos i say that all the time but it's just been difficult the last few vlogs i don't know if you've noticed but I'm back now. Anyway, yeah, I don't really like this hoodie. I'm pretty sure it is Corey's because the fit is a bit weird. But yeah, I'm going to get my bag, get my headphones, get my Apple Watch because I need to count my steps today. And then we're going to head to the range. I'm probably going to go to B&M as well um, to see if they have any bits in. I need one of those pulley trolley things that like old people have. <laughs> Not even old people. I've seen young people have it too. Just to put my shopping in because like I can't be carrying stuff like weight doesn't do well with me anyway let me get my stuff 
get my shoes on i've got the bob i had long hair temporarily but i need to um resize the wig cap because it's a bit too big for me i've just straightened it so she's looking kind of cute kind of cute um anyway it's windy it looks like it's about to rain so i want to head out before i get rained on because i really don't want that okay i'm home now i'll show you guys what i picked up later but yeah. i wanted to show you the mirror because i don't think i've showed you before um when i got it let's turn the brightness down it's so bright okay that's better if you can hear music because the dancer's playing um i got this mirror from home bargains hello <laughs> um literally 9.99 i'll see if i can find it linking down below if not go to your local home bargains because i'm sure these are going to sell out pretty fast because it's gone viral on tiktok and everyone wants to pick their hands up on it but yeah that is the new mirror and the bathroom um is now cream it's just so much brighter in here so much lighter unfortunately that is the windowsill um i think i said to you guys already that why is it so bright i think i said to you already that i painted it blue and I, I actually don't really like it let me know your thoughts not me walking into the wall um but yeah it's much brighter in here now that it's been painted and then i'm actually about to hang up these frames that fell down because that's the gallery wall um i think i showed you guys earlier in the vlog um but yeah i need to like hang them back up because they fell down so we're gonna see if that works again and then i picked up some new like windowsill bits i just got a reed diffuser got a little pumpkin candle and a little pumpkin hello you guys it is friday i don't know why i'm forgetting what day it is where am i going i'm getting confused it's friday today and it is the most gorgeous day my battery is dying so i need to make this fast um i'm watching lydia whilst i clean the house well i say that you can't see the mess um please excuse how flat my hair is looking so flat right now um it is miss amara's first day of school today it's friday it's a really weird day to start um but this morning we all had a nice early wake up both kids were up in the night tossing and turning everyone was in our bed at one point just everyone in the bed um but it was such a nice morning and yeah we walked her to school she done so like i thought she was gonna get upset she was fine she didn't make a, she didn't make a sound there was other kids that were like obviously crying and stuff but she just walked in like i stayed outside with arlo because i had the pram and Corey went inside with her and he came back out and was like she's fine let's go and i was like what so i ran inside and like peeked around the corner because i didn't want her to see me and like maybe get upset again um so i peeked around the corner and she was just playing with another boy on the table and i was like okay you're fine uh, it's just like a test today today so we're literally well Corey's gonna go get her in the next half an hour so the two hours have gone by so so fast we literally have just got up and started like doing stuff arlo is napping so my plan is just to speed clean this house just make it look presentable and dust it's very dusty i need to mop the floors um and hoover the stairs because the stairs is quite a mess i wanted to show you what i picked up yesterday from the range i didn't get too much i mainly wanted to get some bits for the dining table to make it like an autumn tablescape but there wasn't that much things that i liked and i wanted to get a reef for the front door but I didn't like any of them. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna look online and see if I can get one online. But I wanted to show you what I picked up. Please excuse the mess, I'm about to clean. Okay, so first thing I got, let's pause Lydia. We'll pause Lydia, we'll watch her a bit later. Um, okay, so um, I got this like really soft plush pumpkin. I just thought it was cute um, and it'll look nice over here. Actually, what we did want to do was swap was put this in the dining room and bring the chest of drawers in here but i think we're going to do that later we don't really have the time and then i also picked up these faux flowers um i love faux flowers it's like the best most affordable way to make your space look nice and it's just in this gorgeous vase from sazzy uk um absolutely obsessed with this i think it looks so nice hi guys hi. it is what day is it today saturday it's saturday um i was gonna end the vlog but i wanted to end it on a good note since this vlog has been a bit down the dumps um we are about to do some juicing because i told you guys i started juicing you're in the light 
There we go. I told you guys I started juicing, but I didn't show you. Um, so we're gonna do some juicing. My favorite juice to make is apple juice. Apples, Ow. celery, and ginger. Green juice is really, really good for you. Really anti-inflammatory and it tastes nice. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do that now. Corey literally just cleaned the blender for me, the blender, the juicer for me. And it's a bit of a pain to clean, so sorry, Corey. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do some juicing and then I'm currently making dinner as well it's a lovely sunny afternoon it's been gloomy all morning but now it's a lovely sunny lovely sunny afternoon the sun is shining okay no otherwise we won't have any left to juice Yeah, I feel like I'm just not using it properly. Um, I feel like for the amount of fruits that I'm putting in there, I should have way more juice. Like I put in about five sticks of celery and four apples and I've only gotten this amount. This is how much we've gotten out of it. And we have a bunch of um, residue. But can someone let me know am I doing it properly? Because if I am, then that is expensive. A bottle. Why are you bottle? In my bottle. Bye, bottle. In my bottle. I'm gonna show you what we've done with the living room and the dining room. I'm so rude. Let me show you what we've done. It's a bit messy, so please excuse us. I have moved the chest of drawers, like I mentioned earlier, into here. It looks, I don't know how it looks. Let me know what you think. Um, and I set up my little autumnal I feel like it's a bit full, like I might declutter it. Um, but yeah, the chest of drawers is now in here. And then the sideboard used to be here, but now we're just gonna get a radiator cover and put the radiator cover there and or a shelf to cover the radiator, obviously. Um, and Ollie's jumper is there. We're about to put up laundry, so please excuse that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of the room configuration. I actually really do like it in here. I love the dark wood. Um, I think it really does suit the room. Ignore the chair. I want to get an armchair but i just don't know where it would go um and yeah as you can see the tree is gone it's now in the dining room i feel like the dining room's a mess i have not been in there in a while oh it's not that bad um <laughs> it's just very echoey in here so as you can see we got the dining table but the dining table is going to go a long ways this way so like it's not going to be here anymore we're going to move it we've got lots of our work and then We've got the sideboard in here now, which I actually really do like. So yeah, now I'm just on the hunt for some artwork still. I feel like I've been on the hunt for artwork for ages. Let me know if you have any recommendations because I just, I'm struggling to figure out what colors would be nice in here, what color frames would be nice in here because we've got black, but then the dining tables also like dark wood. And then we have the cabinet as well. But let me know, Amara wanted to show you guys some artwork that's pretty and then yeah that's one it's so dry now it is dried now yeah that's what amara did beautiful and then she also did that one we did that one a few weeks ago and then we'll leave this one on the table because it needs to dry i'll just show you no we'll leave it on the table because it needs to dry still it's oil oil painting um dries a bit longer so this one's oil painting i kind of messed it up so i just done some swirly whirly but yeah thank you so much for watching this week's vlog again thank you so much for all your support and thank you for allowing me to be vulnerable and just open up a little bit because i feel like we need we need more of it on the internet um but yeah thank you so much for watching we will see you guys next week for another bye. vlog bye, bye. <laughs> <You're> bye. <laughs> see you later